another review. Today we're going to unbox the Sunjo Pressure Joe SPX 3000. And um, it's, it's not that heavy of a box, but you know, this is a 14.5 amp, five quick connection nozzles, dual detergent tanks, 2030 PSI electric pressure washer. And down here, a two year warranty. I paid $150 on Amazon. Had really good reviews. Let's start the unboxing process. bring you a little closer to the action here. There's what we're dealing with right now. Looks like the uh, the hose bracket hanger for the side. Set that aside there. Here is the spray nozzle. Pretty heavy duty. Um, fairly heavy duty. Not bad. It's too cold to use today. It's, uh, it's kind of cold out. Um, looks like our detergent bottles here. I'm gonna mount on top of the machine, I guess. Something like that in the picture shows. Set that aside. Let me just go ahead and mount this here. Do this just a little bit better. Brass spray nozzle for the spray. Pretty solid, so that's good. It's really good. Set that aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and just here's the hose. Ah, ooh, that's a good hose. Really good quality feel. Not cheap like your other um, electric pressure washers. This is actually a pretty solid, good solid feel to it. Not bad, not bad. That's good first impression. I mean, I like that. Because my old cheap black and decker had a crappy hose. Oh jeez. This is quite heavy. Oh. Long cord. Oh, hold on. What do we got down here? Okay, the box is now empty. There's our little connectors. One of these. That's awesome. How cool is that? What do we got in here? Nothing. Cardboard. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Very long cord. There's the unit. There's some screws with the instructions, registration card. And here is the unit. Here's the cord. Wow, long cord, folks. Check this cord out. That's a pretty good solid cord, too. Um, very beautiful looking. Uh, let's see if they have the... Uh, is that metal? Is that... Yes, it is. Okay, good. I think they started changing those, and hopefully the tip... Yeah, it should... They used to have plastic connections, I've heard. Looks like they've changed that up. That's good. Um, I just placed this order. This is March of 2017, so hopefully anything ordered, um, you know, from here on out is all metal or brass. But uh, here's the machine. Pretty solid looking, actually. Good, not plastic. I like to see that. But um, 
this is this is going to be fun to use. I like the detergent, uh, the dual detergent. Don't really know if I need dual, but I guess you could fill it up with the same. If you use, you know, wash a couple cars, it might go pretty quick with your small bottles here. Let's mount this again here, folks. And uh, if you look at these bottles, I guess having two of them isn't a bad thing. But you have, you could switch sides here, and you have a plus and minus. So if you need less, you can go and, you know, adjust as needed. But, uh, you know, not, not too bad. Um, it looks like there's one connector, connection that goes down to the machine that connects. So, I suppose... I'm not sure how that works, but anyways, a little rubber. These are rubber here. They're not hard plastic like they kind of look like. Cool. I can't wait to use it when the weather gets warmer. Um, this seems like a pretty solid unit. Um, I was looking at the one with the cord that went up here and rolled up on the reel, but... I was thinking that it was top heavy by the pictures and I decided to go with this one. It had really good reviews. And just hang your cord here on the side. Um, I think it has <sighs> Yeah, I think you could just unhook the hose. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how, how it's gonna work yet, but I think this one was a better choice for me. Uh the other one was thirty dollars more. And I just didn't like some of the reviews. So hopefully this thing will work really good. Um, you know, you never know what you're going to have in each, each time you buy something. But I like this so far. I'll let you know how it works maybe later on. Thanks for watching.